with another video. We're going to be talking about some big things for tomorrow, the big indexes. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the SPY, IWM, and QQQ. We're also be going over the news that we have tomorrow that we need to be watching out for. And we're also going to go over the earnings that we have tomorrow also. Now, I think the bulk of the biggest earnings was last week. But we do have a couple earnings that we just want to be watching out for. And this is kind of like stuff that might move the markets tomorrow. Just so you know what the uh, vast majority of people will be watching. Okay. So make sure you guys smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get the channel over 100K subscribers uh, this year. Okay. Now, with SPY. SPY is the first one. Let me write it out real quick. Ticker symbol SPY. Here goes the ticker symbol right there. I'll take that off. We have some old levels on here. We had a buying level about 397, a resistance at about 405. If we go down to the hourly chart, you can tell a lot of buying pressure came off that level. Didn't show any resistance at that level. Okay, what is that? That's very bullish when it starts breaking those resistance levels and it doesn't show any resistance. Okay, so we're going to move these levels up on the spy. But first, let's go over the news. We do have a uh, ISM. IS M manufacturing PMI about 30 minutes um, after the market opens. I don't feel that's going to move it too much. Like I don't, I don't think it's going to be like a FOMC statement type of movement or anything like that. But you just want to know what news is coming anyway. Okay, so we have that news coming out about 30 minutes before the market opens. And for uh, earnings before market, no, no, really like big companies is before um, reporting before market. But we do have a couple after market on Monday. We got um, Activision. We got Pinterest. We got Devon Energy. I'm pretty sure this stock is up a lot. We got Avis uh, for rental cars. And I think that's the big ones. And we also have Simon Property Group. Now, those are the people that like do all the malls. If you notice all the malls, well, at least in Houston, it's mostly Simon Property Group right here. OK, so that'll probably be a good earnings to kind of watch through and go through. But that's probably the main earnings. That's the main news. Make sure you guys watch the videos that I posted earlier before this one. I got video on BBIG, Kathy Wood top three stock crashed, our RDBX Redbox, FFIE stock right here, TBLT, GOVX. So make sure you watch all the videos that I have posted. Subscribe, of course. Follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge right here. And the link is also in the corner over here too, okay? And also make sure you follow Discord. We'll be opening up tomorrow. And then Tuesday will be to everybody else. But, um... We're going to open the website Monday first, the Discord people that's already in there. So make sure you join if you want early access. And let's go over the SPY. Now, the SPY, it does have a resistance very close to price. So let's just put one right here at about 416. Uh, where's it at? So let's put a resistance at about 416. And then I'm going to put a buying level at about 4. We'll put it at 407. Uh, what happened? Okay, so that's probably um, the main levels I'll be watching for on the SPY. Seems like right now is a good time uh, to be scalping on the SPY. Let me see. If you go down. So this was the movement on Friday, right? Ran up, had a nice pull down. Could even scalp here and could even scalp there. And then had a nice pull down here. Started tracing up, scalp here, scalp there. So SPY has been looking good for a couple scalps. Let's see on Thursday. Thursday's movement, this Thursday movement, I uh, didn't really give any entries for scalps then. Wednesday didn't give really uh, any entries either. Tuesday did give entries for put options. So uh, yeah, I think the main thing that I would like to do right now on the SPY is make it, uh, basically scalps. Uh, I probably don't want to hold anything too long. I don't want to get caught in nothing like this. Just in, just in case, I don't want to get caught in nothing like this, right? A big pour down, heavy movement because it was kind of moving slower on the upside right here. Now we're starting to get some more push up. OK, I just don't want it to mimic this. Right. We had a run up, run up, and then we had that big run up and then we had the pull down. Right. So we have a run up, run up, that big run up, and then we might have that pull down. So just be mindful of that. But for now, I am bullish on the market to start trading the higher prices. But just remember, we do have a lot of stuff still going on. Inflation. We're currently in a recession right now. Now, next one is IWM, ticker symbol IWM. Uh, we can take that off. So we had a resistance level about 174. We had a support level about 178. You could tell support level pretty much hit perfect right here, right? It did not want to go below that 178 level. Hit it perfect there and then start trending up to the upside. Resistance at about 184. It says 174, but it's supposed to be 184 right here, as you can see in the corner. 
resistance start to come in see that heavy selling pressure right here and then blew through that so that is good also so new levels we'll probably bring the resistance up like a little bit uh probably like 189 so let's put that oh what happened one don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you have not already 189 and then um support oh let me we'll probably move support at like 184 and like i said probably mainly scalps uh right now on at least the indexes like the russell 1000 sp500 mainly scalps i just don't want to hold uh, any type of swing trades i've been slowing up my trading because it's just not that time right now right but scalps i think will be very good um in the market right now so 184 support on iwm resistance about 189 and then qqq to your symbol qqq this one's moving up nicely also let's go ahead and put some levels on, on this one so let's put a resistance at about 325 let me turn that red uh what's the ticket symbol Three, three twenty. Oh, that's good. Three twenty-five will put as a resistance, and then it's more of a support. I would say about three ten. Let me. All right. So now y'all have the main levels that I'll be looking out for for tomorrow on Spy, IWM, and QQQ. Okay, so that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe. Always remember, no circulation of our so anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in that next one.